Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Technology Philosophy. Today I would like to talk about the post-human biocitizen. We find ourselves in a world with a frenetic pace of life sciences bio-innovation emanating from institutional science, startups, and community biolabs. New possibilities abound in a wide range of areas including personal genomics, regenerative medicine, cellular therapies, anti-aging, microfluidic chips, quantified self-tracking devices and apps, Google Glass, Google Diabetes Monitoring Contacts, Brain Training, and Cognitive Enhancement Techniques. At a higher level, two main themes are emerging from this bio-innovation. First, what is happening with ourselves as human subjects, and second, what is happening regarding data. The human subject is in the process of evolving into a bio-citizen at the center of health optimization action taking with a layer of quantified self-tracking gadgetry as a first line of defense, then a layer of preventive medicine health intermediaries like genomic counselors and peer collaborators in health social networks and community bio labs, and finally, traditional public health services as a final line of defense. Data's role is transforming even more quickly than the emerging biocitizen, where the possibility of collecting, integrating, and sharing high, huge volumes of data streams is now possible and required for the destigmatization of health issues and realization of preventive medicine. There are four main data streams to integrate. All of the omics, genomics, metabolomics, etc., traditional health data streams like prescription and health history, quantified self-tracking gadgetry like the Fitbit, and personal Internet of Things data, like smart cars, wearables, and the smart home. There is an important need to extend the concept of privacy and rethink the attendant rights and responsibilities of data regimes, quite likely with the advent of protective data intermediary services. Thank you.